what we were dealing with in different times, and this is why what you are proposing ain't going to work. I'm not talking about on paper and around here, but we don't know what the hell is going to happen 40 years from now. We don't know what's going to happen 10 years from now. But we do know that today we have the number of people that are unemployed that I pointed to and you agreed upon. We have the number of children um, that are in poverty. We have situations where children are not going to school at predominantly black and Latino colleges, their, grad, their rates are down because of the circumstances surrounding Pell Grants that this institution, Congress, writ large with the Senate and the rest of us, propounded so as how we caused that deterioration to take place. We also know that we have an enormous number of people in prison in this society, perhaps more than should be. We also know that, as you put it, that people are getting older and more people are entering 10,000 a day into what is referred to as the baby boomers. And I can't believe that the men and women in this institution, 441 strong, and in the U.S. Senate 100 strong, cannot put aside some of our interests and get to the core of what's needed in order to address the inadequate or circumstances that exist in the inseparable triumvirate in this country of inadequate jobs, inadequate housing, and inadequate educational opportunity. It comes right down to that. That's what Bishop Hughes spent a lot of his life fighting about. That's what a lot of people felt that were Irish immigrants. And I met some of them along the way when I was in second and third grade. We lived on the same streets. We shared, and Ms. Slaughter and I, only ones here that really saw it, we shared the sacrifice. We had little bitty blue slips for black pepper and little bitty red ones for salt. We had blue slips or other things for gasoline and shoes. When is this society going to get around to wanting to do something for the greatest good, for the greatest number? And your budget, Mr. Ryan, does a whole lot for a few.